Hello everyone, so today I'm here to review Homeworks by Harry Slatkins, Cranberry Pumpkin Cake Candle, 18 ounce candle, part of the new fall release, fall collection, uh, available exclusively on QVC. Now this Cranberry Pumpkin Cake Candle, I will start by saying, as of today when I'm filming this, it is not currently available on the QVC website. Um, from the fall releases, I believe this is probably one of the most popular, um, based on, you know, name, photo, alone, but also I think some of the reviews that have already been out um, have praised this one fairly highly, uh, which means folks are going and purchasing it. Now, I, I would hope that it will come back in stock before the season is over, but I'm not entirely sure of the production, if they're able to continue bringing them in or if it's sort of a one and done. Um, but certainly if it does become available or if there are any returns or as is items that come through, which sometimes does happen with QVC, I would recommend, if you want it, grabbing it when you see it, um, because it, it has been fairly popular. Now this is, again, there are probably eight or 10 cents um, in the fall collection, and then the, the Christmas and holiday collections, and from what I, I'm seeing, you know, many more to come. But this is one that was uh, perhaps a little surprising because it is kind of totally new, something we haven't seen from Homeworks before, um, although he, Harry does tend to do his gourmand um, and bakery blends really, really well. Um, I think a lot of brands, it tends to, uh, you know, bakery or gourmand in general tends to either just become cloyingly sweet or very inauthentic or marketed names that really have nothing to do with the actual wax or sniffing. Uh, whereas the, the one thing I will say here is, what you're supposed to smell, more times than not, you're really gonna get uh, authentically from a candle. So, I wanna dig into this, but first I will show you, again, you, the, the packaging and labeling cannot be, cannot be taken for granted with Homeworks here. So this is, what I would like to imagine is sort of, um, you know, a bunt cake, so the, 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 the cake or bread that has sort of the, you know, the hole in the center. Um, and we're literally looking at the entire external. So it's a spiced cake with some cranberries around the bottom here, and then just a really drippy, gooey, uh, icing, so not a frosting, not your buttercream, things like that. You know, probably not a cream cheese, but more a true icing, which is usually just a liquid, um, you know, maybe either milk or water, or maybe a little bit of lemon juice or orange juice, a little orange zest maybe, um, with powdered sugar to make make a, a glaze or our icing um, over a cake. So that's what I'm seeing here with some just little chopped, you know, dried cranberries and walnuts. And just really, again, that if you love bakery, boy, that is bakery right there. Now it's called Cranberry Pumpkin Cake, which does mean that it leans a little more towards, we could say fall, autumn, but really I see you know pumpkin taking us right into Thanksgiving. So not necessarily a Christmas or holiday candle as far as maybe the marketing goes, but the usefulness and, and when folks would eat something like this certainly could take you all the way through the holiday seasons. Now, the notes on this one are pretty straightforward. Um, sometimes we do get really in-depth notes from Homeworks and Harry Slatkin. Um, this one's straight up four notes. You're getting cranberry, pumpkin, nutmeg, and ginger. So what, you're tell what they're telling you on the, on the name is really what they're telling you on the fragrance as well. Um, I have burned this one already, I think just once for maybe an hour or two, really as, as is common with Homeworks. Beautiful performance, full pool with these four wicks, probably in 30 to 40 minutes max. Um, got a nice deep pull, wonderful throw, um, wonderful burn. I will trim these down a bit before I relight it, just so you don't get little sparks and pops from the mushrooms, mushroom tops on there. But again, just stellar performance, um, clean burn. The wax doesn't change color or, or get sort of a dingy scent to it or smoky scent to it halfway through like you do with a lot of other candles out there. Um, so really nice, clean burn. Now, smelling this, let's see what we got here. Oh boy, this is so warm. Um, you know, cranberry, and I'll put it here so you guys can see it and I'll sniff a little bit. <laughs> cranberry, you know, can lean very, not spicy, but it can be a little tangy, tart, almost astringent, but this is a warm cranberry. This is, you know, almost like you, you've got sort of the dried cranberries here, which certainly you get some of the sugary sweetness like you would in a craisin or a dried cranberry. But what I almost get from this, what I'm imagining this, the, the cranberry pumpkin cake, is it almost has a filling in it of a, a thickened cranberry sauce um, that's, you know, the cranberries have boiled down, cooked down, they've had some sugar, maybe some brown sugar or, or a, a darker sugar than just, you know, your table sugar added to it to make it really thick. Um, thick and heavy and goopy, but not overwhelming the scent with an ooey gooey, overly sweet note, like can happen, um, but just layered in here. So the cranberry, 
again, there's a, there's a softness, a warmth to it um, that is just, I think, unlike a lot of cranberry scents, because oftentimes your cranberry scents, your frosted cranberries or cranberries that are part of pine blends, um, add just a, a, a mark of sweetness to an otherwise, you know, woodsy or outdoors blend, whereas this one is a really a warm, soft cranberry, if that makes any sense. Definitely do get pumpkin, not in your traditional pumpkin spice, but similar to if you saw my review on the gentleman next door of um, the Harvest Leaves candle um, as the author of the home collection, that one has actually also a bit of uh, apple and pumpkin, but a roasted pumpkin puree. So again, like soft uh, pumpkin that actually brings out some of the natural sweetness of like a pumpkin puree after you've really roasted it and it gets, you know, a little, the, the starches get a little sugary in there. That's the kind of pumpkin that I get from this one as well. So you blend this cranberry that again is a cooked, sweet, soft cranberry with the same sort of roasted, sweet pumpkin. So you get those together, you mix them up, you throw them into a, a cake batter or a more like a spiced bread versus a, a traditional cake, a little bit denser, um, sort of a spiced bread, like you know your zucchini breads or things like that, banana bread, whatever. Uh, you mix the, the, the roasted pumpkin puree with the cooked down cranberry sauce, again, sweetened with that bit of a darker, kind of dark brown sugar, and you throw some spices into it. So, but not your typical, let's just get half cinnamon and half nutmeg and call it a day. There is here really a, a good sense of ginger, which again, holidays can really be brightened and spiced up in a truly actual spicy, like a bite. Uh, kind of way with ginger, which you get here, almost maybe even a, a crystallized ginger, little chunks throughout the, the bread there. And very much you've, you've got that sort of the warmth. Again, I keep saying warm, um, and I, I really do get warmth from this blend. Uh, a bit of a, a nutmeg. So I wouldn't really call out cinnamon. Other spices, maybe some allspice or something like that, but really primarily it's gonna, you're getting ginger with, again, the warmth of nutmeg. Man, and then I do get, and I think other reviewers have said this, so this isn't you know me just coming up out of nowhere with it, but I do get a bit of a citrus to it, and really a citrus zest or rind. Again, to me, that's if I want to be direct to what I'm seeing here, how my you know olfactory senses are visualizing this, uh, is as if this frosting is you know uh, a, a, a an icing rather, uh, an icing that is made primarily again with powdered sugar um, and a little bit of citrus juice, a little bit of orange juice or just a little bit of, you know, milk or water or however, you know, folks generally make frosting, excuse me, icing, I keep saying frosting, icing, um, but with some fresh zest of the orange rind in there. So you really get that, the brightness without it being, you know, juicy and tropical. Guys, this is just end of day. So I'm mentioning all of these different notes together, but ultimately, I, this does feel bakery, but not it, there. It, it really leans heavily on the the cranberry and the pumpkin um, and the spices. So the the bakery note is certainly there because these are all again, for lack of a better word, cooked <laughs> uh, ingredients. Almost going into this cake or this bread, but I, I could see it being gourmand versus very specifically bakery. It's not as if you can, there's not as much of the, the bread uh, or the, the spongy note, which again, you don't always really get in fragrance, but it just, oh my gosh, it's, it's so warm. It's all encompassing. This is wonderful. I, I am tempted to burn it now, but I'm trying to save it because through November, if you have a, a big family supper on a Sunday where you're, you know, roasting, um, you know, poultry and you've got, you know, some roasted vegetables and, and things like that. Amazing with that. Of course, Thanksgiving, this would be a perfect Thanksgiving candle. Um, because it, it really is also a transitional potentially from sort of your harvests, your autumn into getting into to more of a, a typical, you know, holiday um, fragrances in December, but really very unique cranberry for me because it, it does, it, it is again, that cooked, I, I don't want to say cranberry cider because not cold and, and certainly no apple, but a really nice cooked cranberry still has that 
bit of that tartness to it, but really subdued um, with the, the sugar and, and the, the ginger and the nutmeg that's added to it that warms it up, um, again, alongside the, the little hit of the, the orange um, and certainly that the pumpkin. To me, the pumpkin is similar to that pumpkin that's in the harvest leaves where in my mind, it is that roasted, those, you know, you chunk up a pumpkin, you roast it until all the starch in it starts to turn to sugars, gets a little bit, little bit burnt, um, or you know, it starts to caramelize truly, and, and gets the you know a little bit brown and black on the edges, but just is so soft and truly ends up being kind of sweet, as sweet as you know a squash can be. But man, you putting put that all together, and it's just lovely. And the thing I, I think I appreciate the most about this is. As I'm saying, sweet, sweet, sweet sugar, there's some brown sugar in there, you've got this icing on there that's powdered sugar with orange and just a lot of things that could end up being just cloying and heavy and too much. It's not, uh, it really is balanced. And it's, again, it's not ooey gooey. Um, and it's, it's just not sickeningly sweet, which I think um, oftentimes these kind of fragrances can lean that way. And this, it really just isn't. I, the more I sniff it, I, I liked it when I burned it. And the more I sniff it, now I'm, <laughs> I'm loving it even more. Um, Cause it really does put you in, in that, that, that holiday, that festive mood um, with the, these traditional notes done in kind of a unique um, balance and a nice combination. So that is cranberry pumpkin cake. If nothing else, uh, you know, let's hope it comes back next year because it's a great scent and, and certainly one that, that I would stock up on. At least I would buy another set. Um, and you know, I'm not one these days to, to overbuy or over purchase or get tons of backups, but this one is a really unique uh, fruity gourmand bakery fragrance. So highly recommended. Uh, that's about it for now. I will be doing some more in-depth comparisons on other candles, of course, some other Homeworks candles. Um, if you saw the sort of quickie review I did on The Gentleman Next Door for the Harvest All Through the Home collection, I will be following through with the um, Holiday All Through the Home collection as well. That was the Today's Special Value. Some really exciting things in there, um, as well as a few that I received recently, um, including White Birch, Season's Greetings. So some ones I'm really excited about. Uh, I'm planning to do also a comparison video because at this point I do have three or four um, of the more pine uh, or tree uh, fragrances from Homeworks from last year and this year. So I want to kind of talk through what I what I see as some of the differences between the, the different blends so that you can more uh, be, make a more informed decision if you're going to purchase on um, a blind sniff. So that is it for now. Uh, let me know what you think of this if you purchase this or any other of the Homeworks candles and we will see you soon. Until next time, take care.